Now, if you own an Alexa smart speaker, then you should watch this video till the end as the project which I'm going to teach you all in this video is going to be the best use of your Alexa ever. So in this video, we'll be controlling our appliancing by just saying Alexa, turn on studio lights. Now the beauty of this project is that this project doesn't require any internet connection. This project doesn't require any external application or any third party cloud or third party platforms. Everything will be done through Alexa speaker and Alexa application that must be having on your smartphone. So before starting the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't uh, as I regularly upload this kind of interesting project tutorials in the field of electronics. So that being said, let us jump on making the project. I'll divide this video in three parts. In the first part, we'll be looking at the hardware side of this project. In the second part, we'll be looking at the coding part of the project. And the third part will be, you know, configuring the Alexa application. So talking about the hardware side, then you'll require one ESP32 board, couple of relay modules, and a cell phone charger. Now you don't need to worry or go out for buying these all components if you don't have. Well, you can purchase all the components by sitting at your home through Amazon. I will leave the link for each and every components in the description of this video. After getting all the components, you have to connect them all in this manner. Well, this is all about the first part. Let us move on to the second part of the project. Coding part of this project is done in Arduino IDE. Now before jumping onto the coding, make sure you have ESP32 boards already installed on your system. If not, then kindly watch out this video in which I have guide you on how to install the ESP32 boards on your Arduino IDE. After that, you need to install this library called ESP Alexa, which you can easily get it by going to Sketch, Include Library, into Manage Libraries. Now just type here as ESP Alexa and click Install. That's it. Now you just need to do two small changes in the code. First of all, you need to enter the Wi-Fi credentials here in the code. Make sure you enter the Wi-Fi credentials of the same router on which your Alexa smart speaker is connected. And after that, you just need to give the name of your devices, then maybe office lights, studio lights, etc. That's it. This is all the changes you need to do inside the code. After that, you have to select the right board by going into tools, into the boards, and here select ESP32 DevKit V1. After that, select the right COM port and hit the upload button. Now with this, we have successfully completed the two parts of the project. Now we are just left with configuring our Alexa application. Now before jumping onto the last part of the project, I would like to make a small request. If you love my work, if you love what I do on YouTube, then I need your help. I need your vote. So currently a contest is running on JLC PCB website. So what you have to do is you have to just click the link mentioned in the description, which will open up this contest page. Then you just need to click on the like button in front of my project. As soon as you click the like button, you'll also get a free coupon for your next order. So make sure you vote for me if you love my project and the contest will last till 38 June. So if you are watching it before that, make sure you vote for me. So that being said, let us move on to the third and the last part of this project. For that, open up the Alexa app on your smartphone. Click on devices. After that, hit on this plus icon and click on add devices. Now select lights here and select others. Now click on discover devices. It will take some time, but make sure your hardware and the Alexa are connected with the same Wi-Fi router, otherwise it won't work at all. Okay, so we got our devices which we programmed onto our hardware. Now click on each devices one by one to add it on your Alexa application. That's it. Now you can control your appliances by giving command to the Alexa speaker. But before that, you have to connect the AC appliance and the relay module in this manner. So we are done with everything. Now let's just see this project in action. Alexa, turn on yellow bulb. Okay. Alexa, turn off yellow bulb. Okay. So yeah, this is how you can add your own devices and control with your command using the Alexa application. So here for the demo purpose, I only shown four appliances, but in real, you can connect up to 10 appliances. So if you know basic Arduino coding, you can easily replicate this project to control up to 10 appliances. And well, if you don't know coding, don't worry, you can just message me on Instagram and I will guide you about how you can add multiple appliances or other I will provide you the code for that. Okay, so do message me if you want. So that's it about the project. Now, isn't it the most interesting and most useful project with Alexa? If you feel so, do click the like button and show your love to this video. Now this project is limited to a local area connection only. That means your hardware or appliances and Alexa smart speaker should be in the same Wi-Fi network. 
uh, but what if you want to control them when they both are miles apart from each other? Well, you can of course do that. No, not with IFTTT. I hate saying Alexa trigger turn on the light. No, not by IFTTT at all, okay? So if you want to learn how to control these appliances over internet from anywhere in this world, stay tuned with my channel and now just wait for my next video to explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.